Are androgens causing your acne? Today, you'll be learning how specific hormones may or may not be causing your hormonal acne, plus I'll be sharing seven action steps you can take to start to heal hormonal acne naturally. I'm Jill Therese, and after 15 years of acne struggles, I finally cleared my skin naturally. I created my acne clearing program, The Clear Code, to help you do the same. Six and a half years and thousands of clients later, I've made it my life's work to get you clear skin without pills, creams, or crazy hormones. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. So first things first, what are androgens? Androgens are technically the male hormone. We both have them, both sexes have these hormones in our bodies, but men have more of them. And they're synthesized, created in our bodies, in our ovaries, testes, and adrenal glands. Some common examples are testosterone, DHT, DHEA, DHEAS. The chemical process by which hormones and androgens impact your acne is really complex and I'm gonna save it for another video. But I want to share a teeny bit about the science because I think it's really helpful for you to understand and feel empowered by. Hormones rule over everything. In your skin, body, mind, soul, everything. Hormones are tiny little chemical messengers that are attracted to receptors on the surface of cells and are modified in various ways while attached to the enzyme receptor and then these hormones travel to other enzymes and receptors and at that point chemical processes are occurring in your body and skin. Okay that was kind of long and sciencey and I know you're smart and you get it but also you're like Joe what's the point? Basically kind of like I said hormones make everything happen. So why and how do androgens in particular either cause acne or keep your skin clear? Here are five reasons. Reason number one that androgens may be causing your acne is that there's an upregulation of endogenous hormones in your body for some reason. Endogenous means generated within. So these are the hormones that our body creates and these hormones, after very specific hormonal and chemical reactions, can become acnogenic for you. Some examples are, again, androgens, estrogen, progesterone, insulin, insulin growth factor one, we're gonna get to those in a second. Reason number two that androgens could be causing your acne is that you're experiencing an increase in exogenous hormones from outside the body that are impacting androgen receptors. Some examples of exogenous hormones, for example, are anabolic steroids and or hormones found in breast milk. Now, if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you're not drinking breast milk, <laughs> so we don't have to worry about that one. But I don't know if you've ever seen like a bodybuilder at the gym. If they're trying to artificially increase muscle mass and they're taking an anabolic steroid, they may also struggle with acne, along, especially on their shoulders and back. It's very common. Reason number three androgens may be causing your acne is that you are eating too much sugar, which could be negatively causing your hormonal acne. I know. You got sad, I got sad, we're gonna talk about it in a second, but your Skittles addiction, mine is mini pink Starburst, personally. It may be impacting your skin, but we're gonna work through it. Reason number four, androgens may be causing your acne, has to do with an increase in stress hormones like epinephrine and adrenaline that are causing hormonal chain reactions leading to a breakout. I could talk about this for days, but I'll keep it short. When you're really stressed, your blood sugar levels naturally rise. It's what your body does to kind of prepare you for the fight or flight response. That being said, higher blood sugar levels combined with an excess of oil at your pore, which can also be due to excess levels of epinephrine, adrenaline, cortisol, etc., combined with skin cells not sloughing off correctly and the presence of P. acnes, all lead to a breakout. So really, stress directly impacts your acne and I know it's like it's such an easy thing to say like oh be calm don't worry don't stress your skin will be clear like that's cute Jill but just I just like you to have this information so that you know that stress really does directly chemically hormonally impact your skin. Reason number five that androgens may be impacting your acne is that dairy may be negatively impacting your skin. There is a huge, 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 very long list of hormones present in milk and cheese, and they include all classes of steroid reproductive hormones. So 
I won't list them all because that would be boring for you because that's not what you're here for. But milk and also milk products raise levels of insulin and insulin growth factor one in your body first and foremost. And then it also contains growth factors. So things like polypeptide hormones, anabolic steroid hormones, which become available to androgen receptors. A few bad chemical things happen from a skin perspective and voila, acne. So question for you, do you find, I think your answer is gonna be yes, but do you find that you break out mid-cycle or pre-period more than any other time of the month? If you feel that that is true, <laughs> type yes below because I wanna support you and it's really common and it's because it's all connected. So what can you do if you want to heal your hormonal acne naturally, but you don't want to take something like a spironolactone, for example, that blocks androgen receptors, so it will probably clear your skin, but comes with other negative effects. Here are some action steps for you, specifically seven, seven. <laughs> Step one is to try going cold turkey on dairy and try to see if it will help. Dairy has been shown to impact androgens across the board and across kind of the hormonal cascade that happens that can lead to a zit. So if you're struggling with acne and you wonder if it's because of your massive cheese addiction, here's what you gotta do. You gotta take it out for two to three months and you gotta see how it goes now. Well, so that means no cheese, no milk, no yogurt, no butter, no ice cream. Now, I know that's depressing and you're like, Jill, what about pizza? Girl, I hear you and here is what is exciting. Number one, you should know my skin is clear and I eat pizza. Number two, a lot of my clients, once they clear their acne naturally, also eat pizza. And <laughs> the re so I was reading a book recently, a research book, um, about acne and skin and they talked about how a lot this happens a lot with people that they don't struggle with pizza in particular cheese and milk alone but when they have like a piece of pizza their skin doesn't seem to react and they are postulating that it has to do with the high heat that the food is cooked at so pizza may be in your future so don't worry now that being said on that same note just because dairy is impacting your acne now doesn't mean in two months, it's still going to be a problem. I have many clients who will remove dairy completely, completely clear their skin, and then we'll slowly back add in dairy, add back, add dairy back in strategically. So they aren't drinking like four glasses of milk every day, but they are having little pieces of cheese with their friends, blah, blah, blah. There's ways that you can add dairy back in that won't freak your skin out again. So don't lose hope, but just know that it could be really impacting you. Step number two to heal your hormonal acne naturally is to avoid whey protein, most commonly found in protein powders, protein bars, etc. So what is whey exactly? Whey is a type of protein found in milk. So milk actually contains two main types of proteins, casein, it's about 80%, and whey, 20%. And consuming whey casein can cause elevations in insulin, IGF-1, and can lead to a derepression of androgen receptors in your body, which equals acne. Step number three to healing hormonal acne naturally is to eat a low glycemic diet. <sighs> Girl, the link between sugar and acne is deep. And... There are some key terms that you got to know when you're learning about healing acne naturally, healing hormonal acne, and blood sugar management. Glucose, glycemic index, glycemic response, insulin, and insulin growth factor one. Insulin is the facilitator of the entry of glucose into cells for both energy and storage, and therefore it helps to lower glucose levels in your blood. Insulin basically helps your body use the sugar that you eat. That being said, the capacity per food to cause a rise in blood sugar levels is called the glycemic response. So for example, eating a one teaspoon of pure sugar increases your blood sugar rapidly. So pure sugar has a glycemic index of 100, whereas water has a glycemic index of zero. And food generally falls somewhere between like zero and 100. So for example, an Oreo is gonna be high, it's gonna be like 80. Broccoli is going to be 20. So how does that relate to your acne? Androgen receptive... 
Androgen receptor receptivity is directly triggered by insulin. So basically, higher blood sugar equals higher levels of insulin equals an opening of the androgen receptor, which forces it to become receptive to androgenic molecules. So combine high blood sugar, which leads to higher levels of insulin, with exogenous hormones like dairy and anab anabolic steroid type things, and you get this kind of perfect storm for a breakout because you have such, so many hormones, androgens and others that are really kind of coming together to cause a breakout. So what does that mean for you when it comes to sugar? Are you like, Jill, no, I can never not eat this delicious uh, Skittles again. So try to eat a low glycemic diet on this, generally speaking. I have a really good video on a low glycemic diet below, but for now, try to have a healthy fat or protein with every meal. On the back of that, try to avoid eating a lot of simple carbs alone. So, I love a good chocolate chip cookie, and they're delicious, but I don't really eat them on an empty stomach ever. If I'm gonna have a big chocolate chip cookie, I'm gonna combine it usually with something like a big handful of almonds or, um, Maybe some like like some almond butter, a healthy fat to kind of blunt the blood sugar rise. Because when you combine protein and fats with a sugar, sugary food, you're gonna have this kind of you're not your glycemic response isn't gonna be like a skyrocket. It'll go a little bit slower. Does that make sense? Step number four is to begin an omega three multivitamin. A 2004 study found that increased consumption of omega-3 fatty acids reduced acne lesions when combined with a low glycemic diet. I love adding this action step in for my clients because it's super simple, it's good for your heart, and it can really help lower the redness and overall levels of inflammation for you. Step number five is to start using the spice cinnamon daily. This is one of my favorite steps because it's yummy, it's simple, and it can have such a positive impact. Cinnamon is an amazing blood sugar stabilizer. It's been used for centuries to help improve insulin sensitivity. The exact mechanism isn't clear, isn't entirely clear to scientists as to why it improves blood sugar management, but the research is beginning to discover that there's a specific compound that may be responsible for cinnamon's ability to enhance cells insulin sensitivity. The recommended daily dosage for cinnamon is one teaspoon. Easy peasy. Legit, every morning I add at least half a teaspoon to my coffee, and then if I'm having like non-dairy yogurt, I have I add half a teaspoon or a full teaspoon for the rest of the day. It's so easy to get in, and it's just such a simple spice to help with blood sugar management, with which helps with hormones. Steps number six and seven are a twofer when it comes to healing hormonal acne naturally, okay? And they are to set a nighttime routine and to start drinking either dandelion tea or spearmint tea at night. I would love it if you could start a good nighttime routine every night that has you going to bed around the same time again. 9 p.m. versus 10 p.m., fine. 9 p.m. nightly versus 2 a.m., that's a different story. Because what happens is when you go to bed, at a consistent time, it kind of gets your body into a rhythm. You've heard of circadian rhythms, I'm sure, when you're, you know, your energy peaks and dips and troughs throughout the day. Well, the same thing happens when you're sleeping. Your body starts to slow down, levels of melatonin will increase towards the end of the night, and you really wanna prime your body for rest because that'll help give a lot of your hormones a rest too. Now, the reason I recommend dandelion and or spearmint tea are number one, they're my favorite for hormonal acne support. Dandelion tea is an herbal cholagogue. So what it does is it increases bile flow from the liver and it really helps your digestion. I see a huge, huge change in my digestion when I do this. Number two, the spearmint has been known to be anti-acnogenic, anti-androgenic. I always mess up that word. But basically it's like it helps to work with the androgen receptors so that they aren't so negatively impacting your acne. And I just thought of a bonus step eight while I'm here, so I'm gonna share it because I love it. Try magnesium. I personally, you kind of have to take, you have to pace your dosage of magnesium on how much you weigh. Do not take too much or you will have the runs. But, <laughs> I learned that the hard way. But I take magnesium every night, about 30 minutes before I go to bed, and it really helps me relax, calm, relax, calm down. It really helps prime me for sleep, which sets me up for more hormonal balancing throughout the day. 
Okay, so now that you have all the tea on androgens and acne and how to heal your hormonal acne naturally, what about getting really clear on what's causing your breakouts in the first place? Click the link below to take a 30 second, 10 question quiz to discover your acne personality type. You'll download three customized recipes, three customized action steps for your unique skin needs. And then hopefully from there, you can work with your root triggers as opposed to just kind of taking blind guesses in the dark for your skin. Also, if you want to join a safe, private, and empathetic community of people struggling with their acne just like you, we have a private Facebook group where you can meet other people struggling with skin stuff as well. So find the link below for that too. If you like this video, type yes below and comment. Let me know what you think, which action step you're going to try. I'm so honored to have you here and make sure you like the, the video, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new one so you can get the next acne clearing goodie that's out soon. And share this with anyone you know that might need some acne help. Okay, see you soon.